All right, guys, got my Universal Yums March box here. Gonna crack the seal. And, all right, this one's from Germany. Uh, so, so, those of you who don't know, uh, Universal Yums is a subscription box. You get treats from all over the country, well, all over the world. Each month, they, uh, well, they feature a new country. So this one, Germany, uh, I'm going to get stuff that's going to, you know, include 90% of what this, what you're seeing here. Uh, pretty cool. So you got Netherlands, Belgium, France, Munich, Czech Republic, Poland. Um, all right, let's dive in. So when you get it, you always get a, a cool little sticker. Still haven't figured out what to do with these. Uh, they're rather large, but uh, one of these days I'll probably create a, a board. All right. So everything, every box comes with one of these. This right here is going to break down everything that's in it. A little history about the area you're eating food from. Um, cool little stories about every single piece of food that's in here. And then for the health conscious, um, if you really care, you've got this breakdown right here. Um, you know, in English, nutrition facts for every single piece of food. All right, so what do we got? Ooh, Bailey's, like Bailey's Irish Cream. We've got uh, toffee caramel popcorn. That's fantastic. Oh, don't know what this is. Um, end Nuss Flips. Obviously, it's going to be some kind of peanut thing. As you can tell, no idea what this language is. German! Um, and it's such a beautiful language with such a... Um, it's so sexy. No. Um, if you're German, I'm sorry. I have heritage. Anyways. Um, this right here, I have no idea what this is. Some kind of peanut butter snack. This looks cool. I'm always excited to try these. Okay. Every country keeps having these. In fact, I'm going to grab a bag from a, another bag. This is not from this one. Have not opened them yet because I'm scared to try them. It seems like every country has some kind of bacon-flavored chips. <sighs> what is this? Like, bacon chips. These were from my last box from, like, I don't know, Hungary or something. I don't know. Anyways, bacon chips. All right, again, now i got to try them. Bacon chips, they call them pulled pork, but they look like bacon. All right. Uh, ketchup, potato chip fries. Yep, they kind of feel like french fries on the inside of the back. Uh, so, um, pretty much like um, veggie crisps that taste like ketchup. All right. Um, look at those. Oh, cocoa dusted almonds. These are mine, period. That looks fantastic. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so these look like Funyuns. Um, Zweebles. My wife loves Funyuns. I may let her have one. <laughs> She's like right there. And again, in a fantastic language, I don't understand. So uh, they did take the time. They've got an American uh, well, English onion flavored rings. So there you go. Um, onions. Um, yep, yeah, they got your nutrition facts here. You can go again, jump in the book. It's always there. Um, what do we got here? Kubankan. You know, how can you... Kubankan. Like, how do you say that? I feel like it's going to be very, like, hard. Very strongly said. Um, what is that word? Holy cow. Wait, white caramelin. White caramelin. Okay, we're done. Um, but it's classic. The original. Okay, that's confusing. Original and classic are in English, but then you can't read anything else it says. I'm confused. Okay, well, we can open the book, find out what that is later. Um, um, marzipan with cocoa powder. Now, marzipan is almond paste. So, we have cocoa dusted almonds. And then marzipan, which is... Almond paste with cocoa powder. So, win-win. Okay, I'm always a, a super happy guy when I get any type of chocolate from across the pond. Because, quite honestly, American chocolate is the worst chocolate on the face of the earth. It all tastes like car wax. I should polish a car with it and not eat it. Anyways, um, so this one is called Original Something Cookie Dough Chocolate Chip. It is a chocolate chip cookie dough filled ice cream bar 
Like, why is that something that we don't have on every shelf here in America? I don't understand. Anyways, okay, coming up next. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, mm, okay, I'm literally going to say this looks like a chocolate-covered Rice Krispie. That's the best way in my mind I can think of this. Yep, kind of feels that way. Alrighty, up next... Strawberry rhubarb filled white chocolate. My wife literally just made a face like, ooh. Well, guess what? She's not getting any. Um, okay, keep going. Uh, we have almond cinnamon. I love the fact everything's almond. Like, it's my favorite nut in the world. Almond cinnamon with cream filled wraps. Okay, so this is pretty much almond cinnamon wafers. Like, who has not grown up eating strawberry wafers, vanilla wafers? I eat too many of them. This package would be gone in a bit, like a sitting. Almond cinnamon by Spree Waffle. Uh, and next. Hollerin Kugeln. I don't understand. Um, okay, so Hollerin Kugeln. We've got Straciatella in Zarbitter Chocolada. I'm going to go with something in dark bitter chocolate. So, uh, looks pretty good. It's from Deutschland, which, by the way, is the actual name of Germany. We named it Germany. Deutschland is the name of the country. Uh, cream filling with chocolate shavings covered with chocolate. Oh, I love it when it's easy in the back. If you ever want to know what the ingredients are in German, then, well, there you go. Because that right there is a tongue exercise in itself. Okay, and last but not least, um, okay, mini ox eye cookies. Are you kidding me right now? That, I literally eat all these. Um, fruity, delicious, sour, cherry filling. Like, that's a solid win. And every box comes with one of these. They're called the Yum Bag. So, the yum bag is going to be full of... Oh, whoa, hey, look. A little prize in the corner. Um, more marzipan stick. Alright, so marzipan coated with chocolate and see almonds. Marzipan's almond paste. Alright, so this is your yum bag. Um, it is going to be filled with assorted chocolates, candies, uh, strawberry licorice. I bet you that's really good. I'm not a fan of black licorice. Anything else, I'm good. Um, cafe, okay, so... Some kind of chocolate. Tiny little... Um, this reminds me just by the shape, size, density of a now and later. That's my guess. Um, if you really have a question, post in the comments. I'll let you know after I've eaten it. Otherwise, I'll just enjoy my stuff and not carry. Uh, Johannesberry. That's literally the name. That sounds cool. Um, and we've got cola, which other countries seem to be obsessed with cola-flavored things. Just not a fan. It tastes like flat, metallic sugar. Um, okay. I don't under... Maracuja. Alright. I know you probably can't read that. Sorry about that. But another one. Uh, another cola. We've got grapefruit. Okay. That one would be pretty down to try. Um, and then another cafe and another strawberry. Cool. Right on, guys. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, post questions and, uh, if, you know, if you're looking to get this box. I've been doing it now for about 15 months. My wife got it for my birthday starting in 2019. And, um, again, any questions, I can always, you know, answer comments. Even those tiny candies that come in the bags at the very end, the, the goodie bag, those are located in here. Your nutrition facts are in here. It even talks about those tiny candies, every single one of them, ketchup, potato sticks, Everything's in here. So here we go. Uh, milk, chef, milk caramels. That's what the, the story behind them and what's about them. And then, you know, strawberry with chocolate bar. It's all here. So even cool little information, um, you know, trivia answers. They've made it pretty fun. So it's more immersive learning about the experience, learning about the country, the foods, the people, uh, instead of just being a food box. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.